Data Factory is great to source data into Azure. Unfortunately, from time to time, these pipelines do fail. And while you can manually monitor your pipelines manually from the monitor screen, you want to be automatically notified when this happens, these errors. In today's video, I'm just gonna give you a quick demo on how you set up an alert and what alert you get uh, in email. Because that's a standard practice. And yep, that's what today's video about. If you don't know me, I am Rhys Eng. I'm a data engineer with a twist. I work in consulting and I specialize in Microsoft Azure. If you like videos like this, consider subscribe to my channel and press like later if you do like this video. To test this alert will work, I have a dummy pipeline here called yeah, this one, SQL DB, PL SQL DB to ADL row one. Yeah. And I will purposely fail this pipeline later so that you can see how this alert works. And to see and set up the alert, we go to monitor and then we find this on the left pane, we find alerts and metrics. You have this view and you want to create new alert rule. I just stick with the basic, you can add description. Severity is how critical is this error. You can choose CEF0, which is most critical, or CEF4, which is least critical. And this will be reflected on your alert uh, later. It will show, will come up uh, what severity level that is. And this is Microsoft term. And I think, yeah, you can, you have to decide how severe is the, uh, is the pipeline. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna stick with step one. It's, not, it's kind of critical, not most. Target, target criteria is the logic. So you want to add criteria. And the one that you want to play here mainly would be failed pipeline run metrics for failed pipelines uh, or failed trigger run metrics. And I typically just stick with failed pipeline metrics. Uh, if you wanna do other checks basically based on failed you know SSIS runtime or the uh, Azure integration runtime uh, you know spec here you can do that as well but I typically go with the failed pipeline runs metrics and I'll go with that to this video I show you some history of failed pipelines I had one uh, earlier this morning and this dimension will give you the logic, the filtering logic. And I just want to check for all pipelines. And what failure type. Now, the key one here is the first one, user error. So if you're setting up a pipeline, you trigger it and it fails. It usually comes up as user error failure. But I, I normally just pick all of them. And I never actually seen one from system error or bad gateway. I would guess system error would be something to do with Microsoft Azure uh, infrastructure. Maybe when it's running, uh, it's uh, the infrastructure behind is timing out. So it's error, could be like that. If you know more about it, uh, let me know down in the comment below. I'd like to hear it. And alert logic, I would I usually stick with this greater than total zero it means that if there is a failure more than uh, zero, meaning at least one error uh, within a set window, which I will cover in a, in a bit, then it will trigger this alert. And the last one, which is quite important as well, you want to check period, uh, how many period or how long the alert is checking. Uh, is it checking for the last one minute, which I'm picking now, or, or longer? You can go back longer, over the last 30 minutes or so. Uh, I would just stick with over the last minute because this is just a demo. Every a frequency is how often you want this uh, to run, to check this alert. And you can go uh, yeah, every one minute, 15 minutes. Wow, I think that's a max. 
And I think the idea is, I think Data Factory wants you to make sure that you, if you pick five minutes, you the period you're checking is also the same, at least five minutes. Otherwise, Data Factory will sort of tell you, yeah, it should be less than equal to, yeah. So I'll just stick with one minute. Usually I keep them the same, five or five, 15, 15, one, one. Yeah, keep it that way. Criteria is done. You can add more than one criteria. Let's say you want to check pipeline and also triggers. Uh, if, if any of those fail, then it will trigger something. And you have to create a notification action group. And I'll just create group one, G1. This can be reused for other alerts later. Add notification. Notification one. Basic, I use email most of the time. And you can use other methods, SMS, push, probably to your mobile app, maybe. I never use it. Let me know again if you've used this. Uh, push notifications uh, or even voice call okay I'll add that action group now it's edit yeah I want to enable this I will create this alert well, this alert is created now I'm gonna go back here and I will just trigger this dummy not that one just trigger now I think I'm just gonna run that one And if I go to pipeline runs, yeah, it fails. When you check your email inbox, you expect to see two emails if you follow along. First one is just a notification that you've been added to the action group. The second one is the actual alert. Now you'll see something like this. If you use ADF alert, you see I chose F1 and then the alert name and within it, it will tell you some details about the alert. It will tell you the rule ID. If you click it, it will actually take you to Azure portal to Azure monitor and to see the details and resource ID as well. And a bit of description why the alert was activated. And you can tell uh, not much, to be fair, uh, what caused it. Uh, from here, you typically want to go back to ADF. And if you've got some pipelines, you want to check those pipelines, make sure uh, you fix them. That's it for today's short demo video. I hope it's any useful. This is about setting up alert in Azure Data Factory. Thanks a lot for today's, uh, for your time. If you like videos like this, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to get more videos in the future.